We're working on lesson 40, solving fraction problems with line plots. And remember, you need to write down everything that's on the page, please. So first, we are going to start with this problem. Um, yes, I need you to copy this chart. I'll read it to you so you're able to understand it. And we also have a number plot that's already made for us that we're going to talk about as well. All right, so here we have team members and we have distance in miles, okay? Alec ran one and three-fourths of a mile. Henry ran two and one-half of a mile. Charles ran two and one-eighths of a mile. Steve ran one and three-fourths miles. Pitch ran two and two-fourths miles. Raj ran one and six-eighths of a mile. Pam ran two and one-half of miles and Tony ran one and three eighths of a mile. So what we've done is we have these and we have part of a line plot here and we're going to check off these line plots and mark any missing points. So you can see the line plot here we have it broken into one, two, and three because all of our numbers, all of our holes are between one and three, okay? And then we broke up our line into eight equal size spaces because our unit is in eight. So the smallest unit is eight, so we're going to use that unit. The first thing that we need to do is we need to convert these fractions into eights so it's easy to put on our line plot. So one and three fourths is equal to four times what equals eight? Four times two. Three times two is six. So this is equal to one and six eighths. All right, so Alec is the same as one and six eighths. All right, now we have Henry. Henry, if I convert just the fraction, right, because when you change, you just convert the fraction. Two times what equals eight, two times four. One times what equals eight, one times four. So Henry ran one and four eighths, all right? We don't have to change Charles because Charles is already in eights. We do need to change Steve. One and three fourths is equal to how many eights? So we have four times two equals eight, three times two equals six. So one and six eighths for Steve. Pitch had two and two fourths. So I'm going to have to multiply. So four times two equals eight, two times two equals four, because remember you multiply the numerator and denominator to convert a fraction to make something equivalent. So you have two and four eighths for pitch. For Raj, we already have eighths, so we do not need to convert. Pam, we have two and one half. We need to convert to make a common denominator. You multiply the top and bottom by the same number. Two times what equals eight? Two times four. One times four equals four. So I have two and four eighths for Pam. All right, now that I have all of my numbers converted into eighths, my number line will be really easy to work with. So let's start with Alec, one and six eighths. So let's go to one, and then count over six more eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here is Alec. I'm gonna put an A for Alec next to that X. Henry, we have one and, oh, that should have been eighths. We must have converted to fourths. One half is equal to four eighths, right? So we have one and four eighths. So here's one, and then one, two, three, four eighths is Henry. So we'll put an H there. Charles is two and one eighth. So we start at two, go over one more eighth. There is Charles, C for Charles. Steve was one and six eighths. So start at one, count over six more eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's Steve. Pitch is two and four eighths. So we start at two holes and then count over four more eighths. One, two, three, four. There's pitch, P for pitch. Raj was one and six eighths. So we start at the hole, one. Count over six more eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're missing an X for Raj here. So we're going to put an R for Raj and add an X. Okay, Pam was two and four eighths. So we go over two, and then one, two, three, four eighths, there's Pam. And then finally, Tony, one and three eighths. So go over one, one, two, three eighths. There's Tony, all right? So, and then we have this piece here. So let's 
look at that. This is 2 and 2 eighths. I don't know if I see anything that's equivalent to 2 and 2 eighths. So this is our incorrect point on the line. Now let's answer any missing any questions. Of the team members who ran 1 and 6 eighths of a mile, how many miles did those team members run combined? So we need to see how many team members ran 1 and 6 eighths of a mile. Well, I see there are 1, 2, 3 team members that ran 1 and 6 eighths because this is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 eighths. There's 3 of them that ran it. So we need to multiply 1 and 6 eighths times 3 to see how many miles they ran combined or together, right? So you could use repeated addition. You could add it three times or you could multiply. So remember, we're going to break this apart into a whole and a fraction and multiply both of them by three. One times three is three plus six times three is 18. Denominator stays the same, eighths. All right, and then this is an improper fraction, so we need to convert that into a mixed number. How many eighths are in 18? Two of them, so that's 16 eighths. And then how many more? You have two eighths here, okay, as your remainder, because two plus 16 is eight. So if you put three and two and two eighths together, you get a total of five and two eighths, and that's how much they ran combined, all right? For your homework tonight, you have a chart. What you're supposed to do is create a line plot at the bottom of the page and answer the questions below. Okay, remember, you're going to need to convert these into eights because that is your unit fraction here. So do that first. Then, after you do that, you can make your line plot and you're going to find the difference between the tallest and shortest players um, you're going to figure out the height of the school bus, and then you have other questions to answer that go with that line plot. All right? Go ahead and work on that, and I will see you tomorrow.